Okay guys, and welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And what have I on this one? Well, I have a lot of these plugs, which are three pin plugs, we call them here in Ireland. They're a molded plug, so they've got a rub rubber molding on them. Um, and it makes it very hard, as you can see here, where I try to pull them out, uh, these pins to get the brass from them. Um, so I want to show you another method that I use to remove um, these pins from these items um, and it's fairly okay it works good and um, we call it plug soup so I'm going to show you how I remove these brass and we'll see how much brass we get out of all the plugs I have to do so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what plugs I have so let's go and have a look and see what I have to work with and what the plan is Okay guys, so as you can see here, this is what I'm working with. I've got two bins. I have another bin that will top that one up. So you can see I have two full bin loads of plugs to do. And what am I going to do them in? Well, I've got a little Burko boiler here that we can use. So I can open it one-handed, which I probably can't. If I could maybe hold it like this. I'll pause it there for a second while I open it. Right guys, so we opened it. Um, so all this is a burkle boiler. Um, so I'm going to fill that with water, plug it in, get it up to boiling temperature, add the plugs in, and we'll start tearing them apart. So it's not going to be awful difficult to do. Um, but we'll see how much brass we get at the end of it. Um, what we get out of it, so there'll be brass, there'll be copper, a few other bits and pieces out of it. But they need to be done and um, Hopefully at some stage then we'll get to melt the brass. So let me get on with it and you can see how I do this. Okay guys, so as you can see we have the um, plug soup ready to go. Just put on my gloves because I don't want to get roasted or wet hot water on them. So we have our gloves on. Um, oop, kicking the camera, sorry about that. So the technique I use for doing these is we'll take a plug out and all I do is twist usually around like that and then pull and that just takes out the, the bit of brass that I want so it's a very simple technique but it's a lot easier when they're warmed up And I'm not going to forget about these little bits in here, but they'll be got later. So just twist. And there's our plug, copper, brass, everything that we want, except for them two bits of brass in here, we'll get out later. So we'll put that plug aside. We'll do another one. So it's very straightforward. There we go, see how easy that was. Some will come out easier than others, but they'll all eventually come out. You know, that's taken out the whole lot. Sometimes you just take out the plug piece itself. The brass part like this might just come out on its own without this bit on it. But if it comes out with the other bits on it, all the better. Um, so if you ever tried this technique let me know in the comments have you tried it did it work for you there you go and again it's up to yourself whether you're going to do this or don't do this I'm not telling you you have to do this some people will just bring their plugs straight to the scrapyard and bring them in as they are um, but for me, I'll take them apart and increase the value. So there we go. Very straightforward. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'll do one more, then we're going to speed it up so you don't have to watch me doing every plug. And... Um, We'll see how much brass we ended up 
at the end from all the plugs that we done. So again, we have two binfuls that I've done. You'll see me filling this up a couple of times, but um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So enjoy, guys. Enjoy the music and enjoy the therapeutic watching me take plugs apart. Right guys, so we're down to the last few plugs. So um, that took a took a uh, let's not lie, it took a while. Um, but for all this nice copper and brass, I think it's worth it for me. Uh, it might not be worth it for you. So again, if it's not worth it for you, just don't do it. No one's telling you you have to do this. Uh, people get awful worked up. Sometimes when you do stuff, micro scrap stuff, they get awful worked up. Uh, I don't know why, because it's not like it's their time that <laughs> is doing it. If you don't want to micro scrap, don't micro scrap. There's no need to keep giving out about it when other people do. Um, so, well, these center parts here, uh, these plastic center parts, I will um, pop them out of a screwdriver usually. And we can get a little bit of brass that's behind that as well, but that's more winter work. We'll call that one. That's more for winter work. These ones can be a bit tough, these are the last few now. 
So he's either left to last. Yeah, so like stuff like these ones don't want to come out that easy. And if they don't want to come out that easy, I don't waste too much time with them. Put them aside and worry about them another day. And that only leaves one plug, I think, left. There's probably a few little bits that have fallen in there uh, that I need to take out. But we're down to our last plug. And it's not even a rubber one, it's a plastic one. So that means um, we're finished. We have completely done them bins of um, plugs. So, and again, it's easy enough to pull off the wire as well, the little cover for the little bit of copper. So, um, wow, we have finished all them plugs. Let's go and see what we ended up with out of all them plugs. Right guys, so um, now that we've done all the brass out of all the plugs, it's time to see what we end up with weight-wise. So I'm just going to put this tub here and um, let me zero it because you'll want to know how, what weight was in there. So let's tear that to zero and we'll go in pounds in weight, okay? So let's... Start by pulling one tub. And then we've got the most tub, the biggest tub. Okay, so these are the, what I'm calling the white brass. I also have the um, yellow brass, which I'll weigh in a second. So we're going to have a look and see. Anyone want to guess how many pounds is in there before I show it? There we go guys, 18 and three quarter pounds of brass. So whatever your brass is paying at the yards at the moment, that's what it is worth I, at the moment in that in scrap value. But I plan on melting this brass down. So we'll hopefully increase the value of it. And we'll talk again sometimes about that, uh, uh, what I do with the, the brass when I melt it down, what my plan is to do on it. So I'm going to set up now to do the um, yellow brass and we'll see how much yellow brass we had in there. So let's see how much yellow brass we had. Okay, we're ready to weigh up our yellow brass, so it's still zeroed out again. So let's tip in the yellow brass and see what we have. So what do we have in total on the yellow brass? We have another seven pounds and 35. So 7.35 grams of uh, yellow brass. And we'll just remove that for a moment because I want to show you something else. So that's a nice load of um, brass there so far. And then we also have, let me zero this. We have all these little bits of copper and brass that came off as well. So that will weigh another 1.35 grams, uh, 1.35 grams, 1.35 pounds of copper wire and little bits of brass. And I still have some of this to sort out, but I wasn't going to, um, I just didn't have the time at the moment. So I've left it aside for winter work or something like that. I don't know what to call it, but there we have another load of copper and brass that I'll be melting down. So guys, that's how I remove the uh, brass and copper from the molded plugs. So it's just a very simple process um, with the hot water to soften up the soften up the um, rubber and then you can remove out these nice little, nice little bits of brass that are in the um, plugs. So if you, it's not for everyone. Again, I understand that. And as I've said before, I do it because I have the time to do it and it's not about um, making the most amount of money quickly for me it's a hobby so um if i spend an hour here and there or two hours here and there doing these things and um, it's the same as someone going out for a game of golf uh, for me it just passes the time and i end up with this and hopefully we'll get to melt it into some nice uh, brass and copper bars at some stage and again we'll hopefully have videos on that coming up soon so thanks guys for watching if you haven't already hit the like please do and if you're not already a subscriber, why not consider being uh, subscribed so you can actually see all this stuff being melted into bars at some stage. So till the next video, guys, appreciate you all 
and um, stay safe. Catch you on the next one.